Hello Sagittarius, how are you guys doing? This week we are asking what is your person's true intention. So this person can be somebody new that you just met, it can be even somebody that you're with, it can be even an ex coming back in wanting to try again. So the first card out that we are going to get, Spirit Guides, is going to be what type of person you are dealing with. Um, we're going to be asking a lot of different questions in this reading. Some of the questions are going to be, is this even worth pursuing further? Uh, also, what you may not know about this person or what you need to know or something that you don't know, whatever is like kind of hidden. I'm going to ask a whole bunch of questions. You know how I am. If you've been here before, I always do this. Extended reading is going to be basically focused on the same layout, but we're going to be looking at a different time frame. So the time frame we're looking at will be into the new year, into 2021 that first week or couple of days just to see if their energy or their intentions have changed at all and there's a link in the description box below if you want to check it out you can go look there this is their energy this is who you're dealing with let's have a look and see wow major arcana card this is in the reverse position this is a very interesting energy your person's confused you're dealing with somebody with confusion um they're not really doing anything so if you got your person it doesn't matter who this is if this is an ex person if it's a person that you're currently with or even somebody new um they kind of like not doing anything they're not making any decision right now because that is the blossom card but in the traditional tarot that is the judgment card in the reverse position so this kind of like means your person's in a state of confusion um it's like they don't know what Every choice they make or whatever decision they make, they feel like they don't know if they're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. So usually when this comes up, somebody ends up doing nothing. So they don't take any action at all. They just kind of let it sit there. And now that's another thing as well. They even may be feeling like, if I don't take action also, it may be the wrong thing. There's just a lot of confusion coming up at this point in time. Um, they could be literally trying to evaluate which direction they want to take with you. It's kind of hanging up in the air, this card, when it comes up in this position. This is very interesting. Um, for whatever scenario you're finding yourself in, if this is an ex-present or, or a current energy or an incoming new person, um, you might be feeling this from this person. Like they're kind of like just sort of stuck in limbo. I think it's because they themselves are not 100% sure what to do. They're not sure if they're doing the right thing or if they're doing the wrong thing as well. Confusion, totally. So let's see how this person's going to affect your life. Let's go and see. You're going to take the lead. Hello, there we go. Three of Wands energy. You're going to take the lead. They're not doing anything. So guess what you're going to do? You're going to do something. You may be going, okay, this ex is just hanging around here, not really making a move, just sort of in my energy, confused, not knowing what to do. Um, I think I should step forward and make a move here. Um, if this is a current person that you're with and they're kind of just in limbo, the situation that you're with this person, but it's not kind of developing or they're kind of hanging back their energy, I feel like you're going to be the one that kind of like steps up and says, okay, come on, um, what are we doing in 2021? How is this relationship going to unfold? What are our goals in 2021 with each other? You're going to kind of push this forward with this person. Um, it's opening up the world. It's a positive energy when it's the three of wands. If this is a new person and they're hanging around you, you know they like you, you know that this person... <laughs> wants to be with you you can just see it in their face and their body language you know how we can just tell sometimes but they kind of like not making a move i feel like you're just going to make a move you're just going to be like hey come over here you know how sad you are you know such tearing energy is like going to walk up to somebody and be like um excuse me hello come here you know and they're just like okay and they come along i think maybe that may help this person decide and <laughs> we'll see so let's have a look and see um, how will the relationship between you and this person be moving forward? This is the energy of the happy or sad, um, the good or the negative, the good or the bad, you know what I mean? So let's see how this will unfold. Like, like, hello, this is nice, guys. Two of Cups energy coming together. This is a very positive energy coming through here. One of my cats, I'm actually looking in the background, is walking across my desk, across my computer. But anyway, those are cats for you. If you hear weird noises in the background, it's them. So um, this is the coming together energy. This is Two of Cups. This is sometimes, I'm going to tell you, with the Two of Cups energy, sometimes I take it more seriously than I do the actual lover's card. Because the lover's card can even just indicate that crazy passion. And it doesn't always indicate long-term 
vibes. But the Two of Cups is like long-term unfolding, um, committed relationship. It even indicates two people that have come together and they connect on a spiritual level, but also a friendship level as well. And it's, it's always for me, it always reminds me of the Two of Wands energy, this lifelong partnership thing coming through. They will make you feel really good. So taking the lead is just definitely not the wrong thing to do. I feel as what we are looking at right here, that looks really good so far. So let's have a look. Let's get to the, the middle row. That's all, that's all the, the awkward questions. You know me, I'm kind of awkward sometimes. And I will ask the weird stuff. So let's go. Um, let's see what their true intentions are. Oh boy, this is the difficult part of the reading. Let's have a look. What are their true intentions? Well, this is contradicting. Because now you've got in the King of Swords energy. Look, um... One thing I can tell you with the King of Swords energy coming up there, they do intend to be loyal towards you. This is not a person that comes in and is not serious about commitment. And when they do come in, when they do decide to make a decision, they do so wholeheartedly. Because the King of Swords energy is a very controlled, very thoughtful energy as well. I like this energy as a person's intentions. Um, the thing is, they like to prove things in life. This is the king of swords. This is how they how they are. They want to prove things. You see my cats are being naughty. They're even moving the camera. They're underneath the, everywhere today. I don't know what's up with them. Um, so the thing is, this is a very pers a person who is very much um, kind of, uh, I won't say boring, but they got routine. So they kind of have a very strict kind of lifestyle. This can be also what makes them find it hard to make a decision. It's almost like they live life by a, by a set of a time frame, you know what I mean? They've got like those, they wanted those people have like at 10 o'clock I go here, yeah, they've got lists and diaries where they have time set up and things. It's a very strict energy. I like this energy because they are responsible. Okay. Um, they don't like to let people down. This is very nice energy coming through here. They are very sensible. And the thing is, the sensible part of them can make it hard for them to make a decision as well. People actually rely upon them. This is not a person, I'm just going to tell you, that wears their heart on their sleeve. This is the kind of person who uses their brains as opposed to that, but they do have a heart though. Um, they, they like to take care of people. They like to do the right thing towards people. This is a very nice energy. Saggy, how do you like that energy? This is the kind of intention they have towards you. This is the thoughts that they're having in their mind, but this is what makes them, I think, also take time to make a decision because they, they overthink things as well. With that sword there, it can indicate a lot of thoughts in their mind going around there. But I like the energy. That is a very stable energy, by the way. So let's go. Um, is this worth pursuing? pursuing on from this moment is it worth pursuing let's have a look and see okay you got an ace of wands in the reverse position this shows me that there is one thing here there's something up with timing with regards to this energy um sometimes this can be their energy this is what's going on with them right now from the very beginning of the reading i kind of like felt they're not doing anything they're not really making a move this can make you wonder even if this is worth pursuing it's almost like they they pausing for some reason you see the this energy of this judgment being in the reverse card it's them not really making any move it's almost them putting a hold on things or not being sure the next move to actually make the Ace of Wands is actually mirroring that energy because it talks about putting something on hold or kind of like holding back energy, not wanting to move forward with it. It always means something about timing being out or the time is not right. Um, usually when this is the energy is there, um, this is a little bit of a frustrating energy as well. This can be for you to understand what is going on. They kind of like will put a hold onto things. Remember, remember this sword's energy. They can truly overthink things. And when they do something, it's almost like they have to they have to know 10 times that this is going to be the right thing to do. It's like they go to that point. It's like, okay, do it. Okay, let me rethink about this again. This is this energy you're dealing with. Um, the thing is, I feel like there's going to be a movement going forward because the Ace of Wands energy doesn't mean there is no ongoing forward movement. It means that there's a kind of pause. There's a moment that's going to come in the future that's almost like 
all the pieces are going to fall together. It's almost like waiting for the right time kind of feeling. There might be something in you, with your person that they kind of feel like they're not ready or they're waiting for something to happen um, or they just have to make up their mind in some kind of way because that is the King of Swords energy, overthinking like crazy. There's the judgment card on top, literally overthinking like crazy. So this person, to them, I think they realize the connection is pretty serious and they want to come in in the right way. This is going to happen. It's almost like there will be a moment that this person intuitively knows when to move this forward. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may be feeling this pause moment with your person. It's almost like you're in pause. It is going to move again because the Ace of Wands does indicate a holding back or a time frame where things kind of stand still. And then as soon as the moment is right, it begins to move again. So whatever energy your person's holding back, they're working out something. They're working out something in their head. It's like they're trying to put all the puzzle pieces together. It's so quite interesting. Let's see how they feel about you. Remember, we're dealing with a person who doesn't really wear their heart on their sleeve. So let's see how they feel about you. Well, this person is desperately wanting to communicate with you. Um, you need to talk to them. They really want to open up about something. You've got a page of wands in the reverse position. Um, when the page of wands comes out, it literally means communication. It can sometimes indicate a person younger than you or you might be younger than this person. They definitely want to communicate with you. Um, I feel like they want to communicate more than what they're doing now. A lot of the things that they're keeping in their head, keeping it shut down, keeping it going around and around in their own headspace, I feel like they want to actually clear the air on certain subjects with you or open or get some information from you. There's something that I feel like they don't, they're not aware of or they're not sure of. So I feel like this person, the need for them, this is how they feel. They do want to connect with you. They do want to start communicating with you. But it's like they're trying to find out information about you or they're trying to find out exactly what it is you want or how you want to move forward or how you see the relationship. I literally feel all the things that they kind of worried about in these three cards here, this, this feeling that gives them the indecision, they really want to come in and talk about this. Um, they're trying to clear up something in their mind. That's how I'm feeling. This is a very interesting energy. Yes, they want communication with you. They want to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. So I'm finding that's really interesting. So let's go in and have a look and see. I just want to make sure my battery does not shut down. Yeah, we're, we're okay. We'll make it. Let's hope. Let's have a look and see. Um, how do they, how do they, what is it that you do not know about this person? What do you not know? What do they not show you? They've been so hurt in the past. No wonder this person has been really hurt in the past. This is what makes them so indecisive. Did you know that about this person? Did you know that they've been this hurt? This is really hurt. Something ended in their own past. Um, a lot of people have hurt them. This is not just one person. This is history that I'm looking at here and a lot of water under the bridge. This is their world. This is where they came from. They've been betrayed so many times and not just by love relationships, but by people as well. This is what taught them not to have their heart on their sleeve. Oh my goodness. This is what makes them hold the sword now to protect themselves from being you know, I just feel like saying battered and bruised kind of energy, but this is their soul energy. This is what makes them so unsure. They know if they move forward here with you, it is going to end up in a two of cups situation. Their heart is going to get pulled in here. And this is what makes them hold back as much as they are. They've really, you guys really need to do open communication here. You guys really need to open communication. This is the feeling that they have more than anything associated with you. The need to talk to you and the need to open up with you as well. I think during this time, this is when you're going to hear a lot more from them. And you're going to be able to go deep in your conversations with them. I'm just saying, don't like kind of keep it like light and flirty. And no, no. Can I tell you, um, you know, you get a lot of people in the beginning of relationships where it's all the flirtation and the laughing and the giggling. This person doesn't need that. They don't need that energy. They need to know who you are and they need to know what your intention is towards them. Which I'm finding it so interesting because usually it's us wondering what their intention is towards them. This reading is what is what is their true intention towards you. And actually they're trying to know what your true intention is towards them. 
like twisted around and it's so interesting that this comes up like this but this person does not want to be hurt again they want to know who you are so that they can move forward as well they will they will that's why they feel like they will intuitively know when to move forward in something i find this extremely interesting this person i like their energy i do but be very careful with their hearts because they have been hurt before and um they won't allow it to happen again and that is what makes this pause I don't know did you know this about them be serious around them it doesn't mean that no they won't open up and they won't show you the heart and they won't get giggly and flirty with you but they're only going to do so once they know they're safe once they know who you are that's why communication has come up there spend a lot of time even if you're just on the phone because this can even indicate communication over the phone just connect with them and talk to them so let's have a look i love this deck that i'm just busy working with here it's the moonology deck it shows different moon phases so i love the way it sometimes can show how a relationship can unfold over time um, over a period of time as well it also indicates literally negative or positive energy there's no middle ground in the moonology so let's have a look and see first card let's see what's going on here what do we have full moon in cancer yeah stuff is going to be resolved that's what i know it says here personal issue reaches resolution this energy this is something that is totally going to get resolved into the future this is this energy of i feel like this is communication whatever the hold up here something's going to shift this person's going to make a decision very emotional energy because we got full moon in cancer so this energy here by the way the resolution is going to be interesting the way that this person is going to um, handle the situation i find it very interesting because cancer energy never does things the way other people do cancer kind of sees the world a little bit differently than most people and it's almost like the solution is not going to be as straightforward as you think it's like everybody else is going straight forward but no cancer cancer is going Cancer's going sideways because you know the crab it'll walk sideways so it kind of like looks at a solution and a way around problems in a very very different way so whatever the resolution is it's going to be creative that that's for sure because that's a creative energy as well let's see what else comes up here oh my god hello gemini new moon in gemini what did i just tell you guys communication is key thank you moonology there you go. This is definitely, you guys have got to communicate here. Um, this person needs to know who you are. There's the Gemini energy. Remember, that's two twins, right? So they always have this belief that they're seeing a part of you, but there's another hidden part of you that they don't know. And that's what they want to communicate about. They want to know who you are. Communication is a must here. If you want this connection to go on, it's time to really open up and get serious here and actually communicate with this person. And this is extremely important, especially because this is the middle card that I'm drawing out in this in the bottom row here. This entire reading for me, it's about being open and honest and communicate speak your truth tell them exactly what you want tell them what you don't want and then they can do the same to you as well this is very important i'm so curious i have no idea because why you got super moon energy this is what's going to cause your problem your person a little bit of a problem to freak out just a bit because this is super moon okay this is not a, a, a very a thing that happens often a super moon is one of those rare events these are monthly events new moon full moon happens every single month this shows me that you guys will be going through cycles this situation is going to reach a climax almost energy where things are going to be coming up much more this can i tell you is what your person is the most afraid of emotions are running high this energy is them they really scared of this energy you need to know i just noticed my light i want to turn this other light on here let me just quickly do that doesn't that look like amazing <laughs> there we go i always forget that light so this is what is up with them emotions are running high they really want to sort out their mind before their heart gets really attached here i i feel like they're protecting their heart i feel like they're trying to hold back the emotion hold back from falling in love because when this happens they the fear just comes out in them and this is the thing that they are most trying to control but they won't be able to I feel like they will not be able to they are literally going to be moving into the place of emotions with you and it's going to activate a whole bunch of insecurity inside of them 
these two cards are going to get activated when this happens. So communication before this happens is very, very important. It's almost like you guys need to be telling each other your life stories over a period of a week or two and just sit down and discuss what happened to you and they sit down and discuss what happened to them. They really want to know before they get into an emotional place that they are secure because once their emotions get activated, you must know you're activating all their, their fear, all their they trusting you so they need to know they can trust you 100% fully before that happens. That's why they need the communications. If we don't have communication here with this person, if you don't have that heartfelt open com uh, conversation with them, I feel like they will literally be control that emotion and that's what will hold them back as well. Um, I feel like if they don't have that communication, this person can literally make a decision not to move forward. There has to be something very deep. There has to be a deeper connection here on a deeper level for you guys to move forward because once this happens, they know, this person knows once I'm here, I, I, um, I'll be scared even to move forward and they will want to make sure that when they are here, they are already in a stable place with you. This is very interesting reading that I'm picking up on here and I really actually like the way they're doing things. I think you honestly said you are dealing with a very serious person. I don't feel like you're dealing with somebody who's just playing around. I think they really mean business, but they will only move forward if they feel like it's 100% worth it for them to do so because they're not playing that's what i can pick up they're absolutely not playing match that energy to them there we go saji thank you so much for watching if you want to check out how the new year is going to be with this person how things will be perhaps once emotions start running high how things will be once they get activated and their heart energy starts getting involved how will the changes show check that out there's a link in the description box below to the extended reading but thank you so much for watching saji have an amazing rest of your day Ever you may be. Bye.